person's vision of love came out, Mariah's first single, I've been a huge, huge fan of hers. I mean, you know, I would always want to emulate her, and she's definitely been an inspiration to me vocally. And, um, you know, maybe one day I'll get to meet her. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Wish you luck. <laughs> Mariah Carey, and she was a huge influence on me. She's amazing. Being nominated for a Grammy is just amazing to me. You know, Best New Artist is a category which I saw my idol, Miss Mariah Carey, you know, win and, and accept. And I, I was just, you know, ever since I was like, I want to be nominated for that one day so bad. So. Has anybody ever told you that you sing better than Mariah? <laughs> Has anybody well, ever said that? Thank you. I know that um, in the press this year, I've, you know, there were some comparisons and, and whatnot, and, uh, you know, they're Part so the flattering you to me. Deal with that, though, right? Well, no, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, I, I love her so much as a vocalist. Right. The girls who've made it in the last five years, I mean, so to speak, made it, um, are they even in the, vocally, or let's say Jessica or a Christina, are they even in the same league with you, uh, vocally? I, how can I? I mean, come on! I can't say they're not in my league. <laughs> <laughs> no way! I mean, look, like everybody's doing their own thing. Right. Seriously, everybody's living it up. No, they're all doing their own thing, and they're talented girls, and I'm happy for their success. And you know, I honestly like I'm so critical of myself as a singer that the mm -hmm. people that I revere, like Vanessa Bell Armstrong and Karen Clark, and singers that are just like next level incredible. I'm so super critical, and even some of my best friends who I hate to sing in front of because they're that good, mm -hmm. that I don't even, it's, it's, it's really difficult for me. That's why sometimes I take a long time making a record too, because I set the bar so high by listening to people that I know are, I look at as way better than me. Right. Who did you strive to be like when you were a kid? Who did you like? Um, Mariah Carey, of course. Yeah, yeah. I would have to do that, but I would start laughing. That, that's not you. That is, that's Avril Lavigne. She would do that. Really? She's oh, I done. wasn't talking about her. And the person I was talking about is actually really cool and... Christina Aguilera? No. Christina Aguilera? No. Um, uh. but anyway... Mariah, you're always known for behaving with dignity and aplomb, and basically we've got some um, characters here who don't always necessarily do so. And what we'd like is a bit of advice from you how you would deal with these situations. For example, who are the characters? Christina Aguilera. Darling, don't have me start <laughs> ragging on people. That's not festive. <laughs> no, it's nice advice. Nice advice. Basically, which. No, not at this stage. We've seen photographs. Yeah, we've seen all the photos, so we know. Uh, did you, is, is there, was there any point that you stood and looked in the mirror and said, I'm Christina Aguilera. Uh -huh. I'm that <laughs> ugly now. Come oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, Whatever on. do you mean? I'm not involved. I'm not involved. <laughs> now, oddly enough, I interviewed Mariah late last year, mm. and she had absolutely glowing things to say about you. She and your did? Voice. Yes, she well, did. Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, no, she the clause came out when asked about fellow diva Mariah Carey. Christina says, quote, She was never cool to me, to the point that one time we were at a party and I think she got really drunk and she had just really derogatory things to say to me. But it was at that time that she had that breakdown, so she might have been very medicated. Mariah did not take that sitting down, telling us today, quote, I had hoped that Christina was in a better place now than the last time I saw her when she showed up uninvited at one of my parties and displayed questionable behavior. It is sad yet predictable that she would use my name at this time to reinvent past incidents for her promotional gain. It is in my heart to forgive, and I will keep her in my prayers. Nothing like a good old celebrity feud. And we will give the final word today to Christina, who told us, and I quote, At this point in my life, I do not want any bad energy with anyone. My intentions were not to upset Mariah with any statements that were published or taken out of context. I have all the respect in the world for her. Who played in a movie considered uh, as one of the worst <laughs> in recent memory? Uh, Mariah Carey. <laughs> oh, Mariah. Um, she, uh, you know. Oh, Mariah. Um, she, uh, you know, she's um, a great songwriter, I will say that. And, uh, you know, Vision of Love, whenever she broke out on the scene with that song, I, you know, just became an instant fan. When Mariah Carey was announced for American Idol as a judge on American Idol, what did you think of that? How do you think? I just found out about it do? last night. The news is fresh. You know, I love that. You know, um, 
these God, all, all these artists are coming together from you know uh, all, all the experience that that we've had, and we're being able to take that and sort of you know feed this 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 new wave of talent coming up. I mean, I think it's great, and we're all coming from... It started in 2006, when Aguilera told GQ that the singer had slammed her, claiming, One time we were at a party, and I think she got really drunk, and she just had really derogatory things to say to me. Of course, Mimi hit back at Christina, accusing her of displaying, quote, questionable behavior, and using her name for promotional gain. I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? Mariah told Access Hollywood, I had hoped that Christina was in a better place now than the last time I saw her when she showed up uninvited at one of my parties and displayed questionable behavior. I will keep her in my prayers. But that wasn't enough to stop Aguilera. In 2015, an insider told the National Enquirer that Christina downright roasted both Carrie and Britney Spears for their respective Las Vegas residencies, reportedly saying, I want a Grammy this year. Why would I go to Vegas and join Britney and Mariah in an oldies act? Carrie never responded to this particular barb. I don't know. It's making my stomach hurt to think about it.